I don't want to be friends who, with whoever wants that. Is that for the cat? Eight brushes. A frying pan. A sewing machine from 1982. Excellent. Sounds fun. Let us dunge. And then these are the dungeons we've already completed. And I think I've dated. I mean, I've, it's like the dating part is literally leveling the weapons and is necessary. And it, sometimes it's funny. That's the kind of, this is what I'm saying. I don't know what it does yet. We're going to run it. I don't know. Them, she, I don't know. It's, they're, I don't know what to call a weapon. Does the weapon have a gender? I guess it does because it's them. She, she has, it looks like ice to me. I'm going to go with, yeah, she's the weapon. She's the person. Yeah. I'm going to start at the beginning because I've never used this weapon before. You get in the elevator. Really? It's honestly, it's one of the coolest ones we've gotten. The coolest looking, in my opinion, so far. I used to say that my old commute was a flight of stairs, but that was the old house. Oh, bless. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. What are those gems in front of me? Maybe that's my super. I don't want to waste it. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. It's not weak. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is that like the stack of damage or some shit? I have no idea what those little things are. Why? Wait, is my helmet hurting me? Oh my god, the tick hurts me. I get it now. The tick injures me. That's what's happening. I get it. Rude. I wish I could change my hat. Oh well. Doppelganger recipe. That sounds uh, uh comforting. Wrangler recipe. Health. Bless. Happy Friday, young at heart. How are you, love? And one of those, Aether. Is that Aether or Ether? I've heard people say Ether, but it's spelt like Aether. I'm gonna waste my health doing this, but we'll see. My damage is tripled with this fucking ble bleeding tick on my head. Which could be great or not great. We shall see. I could just die to my hat. But it's very like, um, I don't know. Hades-esque and it's not hard to, when you die, you just like start again at the beginning. And honestly, it's not bad because your weapons stay leveled. Is this a rogue like or a rogue light? I fuck that up all the time. I never, I don't know. It's definitely not just like Hades, but it's similar. Bitch, it's a stapler. Uh-oh, I have no health. This is where Katie dies from her tick hat. Ooh, look, health. Gimme, 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 gimme that fucking bubble tea. Bubble tea's health, by the way, which is hilarious. I'm gonna die. Wait, I have a bug friend. This way, bug. Uh, 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 uh. Shit, fuck, fart. Shit, shit, fuck, tit, fart, balls. I'm going to die. And here we go, little bug. I have to get rid of that tick hat. That's bad. Found out that I suffer from kleptomania. When it gets really bad, I take something for it. Bless. I got a fucking F. That's okay. I kind of wanted to die. That's that's too much. That's too much. There's no way. I can't even... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I'd pull that off. Because nothing else really levels up. You don't really level up. Maybe for a bot. You know what? It's probably... You know how you can, like, jump levels in the elevator? I bet it's for if you're stuck on a boss fight. You can just jump in and rip through a boss really quick. Yeah, it's triple the damage. So the hats seem to have, like, perks. The clothes don't. So it'll say, like, the tick triple player damage it gives me a headache to wear it so that was my clue i'm an idiot so obviously it was causing me damage as it was going but if you get stuck on a boss that's probably really helpful um attract all loot not just money with earmuffs oh my god the party hats for me i hate it i hate it friday dad joke achieved fucking amen shit balls fuck uh what does it do find more money more often doubles all damage ready for valhalla or the catwalk on um, the catwalk they all do something um, money's pulled from further away, higher chance to critical hit, enemies get stunned when they damage you, money's pulled from further away, revives you once, carry more beverages, but fewer zines, money's pulled from further away, exit shows in minimap, different soundtrack, different soundtrack, carry more beverages, but fewer zines, money is pulled from far away, uh, see further, enemies bleed when they damage you, damage all enemy, wait, doubles all damage, excuse me, carry more zines, but fewer beverages, exit shows in minimap, money, beverage heals more, Higher chance for critical hit, blah, 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 blah. Then they, start, they repeat a lot. Enemy stun when they hit you is a pretty decent one, though. 
on the catwalk, on the catwalk. Don't get me started. Who? Someone said that that's their, one of their least favorite songs in the whole world, and I feel bad because I will sing it on accident. And I'm not here to torture you. I'm not trying to be a dick. It's just natural. Um, I think this one doesn't hurt us and still doubles our damage. What up, Snickle? How are you, love? On the catwalk. On the catwalk. I do a little turn. I am so sorry. If you're here, I do not mean to do this. That song is just so fucking addicting. What was a good one? Um, fashion zine. Creates a decoy. Throws a fireball. Throws a mind trap. Puts monsters to sleep. Calls down a thunderstrike. Creates an allied turret. That one was really dope. I think I'm going to keep the turret. It seemed to do lots of nice damage. It tickled my fancy, if you will. Oh, back here. What do I look like? Why do I, do I look like Loki? Hmm. You're okay. Oh, fuck. We have to date her more now. Ooh, have I maxed almost all of them out? Ooh, I have a gift for the kitty cat. I have a gift for this little snickle. Let's do this, puss. Oh my god. Are you watching it for the very, very first time? Gone? Ow. How many episodes are in Gone? Dude, it's been too long. I don't remember. But I can kind of gauge, like, where you're at. <gasps> oh, dude. I hope you're enjoying. That was... That's one of the... Sh that show, I... It's weird. It's, like, not one of the shows that I think, like, stand out to most people. Like, most people love Nocturne and stuff like that. But I, there are parts of Gone that, you know, I, I'm not saying they shouldn't be this way. I think they turned out this way on purpose and should stay this way. But there are certain little things about, like, mine and Dan's character and a few other little, not necessarily plot holes, but things I still think about. Like, what are they doing? What are those two people doing? What are those characters doing now? I still think about it and it's weird. I don't want to spoil anything, though. Oh! <gasps> Halfway through is episode 21. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I know where you're at. I'm gonna shut up. Ooh, I have a gift for the cat. Let's go. Pocket. P pocket pussy, by the way. Sniffs at the scorch mark and recoils uncertainly. <coughs> Would you like to offer a gift? Uh-huh. Watch, I'm gonna fail with a cat toy. Because that's my fate. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Without the mold, hopefully. Cat's self-clean, so I'm gonna go with no mold here. Uh, Pocket paces the lab and sniffs at the different jars, pushing one particular one off the floor to smash. He purrs, very pleased with himself. Good kitty. You're graced with the privilege of petting Pocket's soft fur, feeling the purr against your palm. <sighs> if only. Before you can blink, he's turned his, into his weapon form in your hand. Come, pussy! Mm hmm. It's weird that I date the cat and not the owner, but whatever. I like the weapon a lot. And they're probably the easiest to figure out what kind of gifts to give to. Nope, that was the beginning. Those books can open doors, and that's weird. I'm comfortable with that in no way. Bitch, not to date! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and hi-ya! I like when my heel doesn't just fucking sap away from me for no reason. Oh yeah, because I put a hat on that was a tick! Ooh, 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 shit, turret, shit, turret, oh god, oh god. I didn't heal, I was trying to push the turret button instead. Fucking idiot. You got one! It's the first in a bit. But at least you get to see what I mean when, well, we already died, no, just kidding. I'm not, I can't make an excuse for that. But I can make something, and I can't see it. I need to restart the game. I don't know why it does that, but every once in a while, it just like, blanks out just the crafting names at the crafting table. It's so weird. And all you have to do is restart the game and it comes back. But it happens every time we played. It's very strange. In the, in the moment, though. I don't know why, though. The grind, I know. These levels are pretty fucking hard. I think it's because I'm still trying to grind up my... Like, I have top-level weapons that would probably make it easier to go through these levels. But how do I leave Pocket behind, Mayo? Like, how... Is that animal cruelty? They're my favorite. <laughs> They're only a level four. Like, I feel like... Damn it. Is Pocket texting me? That's the only... Oh, no. I'm teaching a lot these days, but I'd love to see you again. Maybe the skating rink? Should I bring the skates? 
or do you just want to fuck? No, but if you're lucky, maybe they'll let you drive the Zamboni. Oh, maybe we can get fries or something. Nothing beats arena fries. I'm gonna fry that dip. Wait, cat owner? Pocket, yes! Um, worried. He's looking for a fight. Wait, oh, did I never respond to this person? I'll keep him safe, bitch. I know. Well, it's like, I don't even date the cat. Like, like every time the cat is a date, I'm led into danger and I almost die. And then the owner's just like a restaurant owner that's kind of a snot. I have no idea what's going on. This is the owner of the cat. I'm not actually texting the cat. I hope so. Okay, pockets out. Good luck finding him. That's all I get. That's all I ever get from this fucking owner. And I don't know what is good. But I think I have to go date the cat now or something. Or be led into danger by the cat. I don't know. It's never a date. It's like the cat is there and then suddenly we're attacked by something. Or it's like the cat runs down an alley. Do you follow? Of course. No self, you know, I don't know what to do. Wait, cat? I think that's, yeah, that's the cat. Found him. You find Pocket wandering outside the mall. You follow him until he stops in front of a pet store. He pulls something out from a hiding place under a bench and nudges it towards you. It's a crispy used dildo. <gasps> oh my god, it's cat ears. I need to find cat ears that don't hurt my head. This game just kills me. Fuck. Fuck. That's just, I'm, I'm in pain. The cat ears look like they'd fit you perfectly. Mm. Pocket's ears are perked up proudly. Thanks, kitty. You, perf you think you hear a faint purring in response. Then his eyes wander to the pet store's front window. <laughs> There's a display of pet mice and birds available for purchase. Pocket drools. <gasps> you want a snack? Uh, a, wheeze a wheezy sigh of longing? Pocket releases a little wheezy sigh of longing. <gasps> what a bitch! You notice a familiar street cat approach. Pocket tenses up, claws at the ready. The street cat slows as she gets into range of Pocket's attack and finally sits just out of reach. Mange. Pocket's fur fluffs up with his tension, but he doesn't move. He doesn't know what to do. Think of, think of the, smila, the Smilodon. Don't back down. Wait, what the fuck was the Smilodon? I remember it, but I don't. Oh, shit. I don't want my cat to get hurt. Think of the smile of Don. Your voice makes him startle and he jumps, panic in his eyes. The street cat steps forward menacingly. <coughs> Pocket loses his nerve and dodges between your legs, transforming into a weapon. Shink. The street cat pauses, staring up at you in Pocket. Her tail twitches. He's not a fighter. No, that's mean. He's with me. Meow, says street cat. Somehow it sounds like a solemn pronouncement of some kind. What is the cat saying? Huh? Olivia almost bumps into you on her way out of the pet shop. Our favorite. Oh, it's you. Get out of my way. Wait, I, hey, I know this cat. That's Astarte, my old roommate's kitty. What are you doing here, girl? <clears throat> Meow. Olivia reaches down to pet her head, but a starte. A starte? I'm saying that wrong. A start? A starte. A starty. I don't fucking know. Assy. Slinks just out of range. Ears flat. She was a rescue and always moody. You mean feral? You mean a jerk. We should call animal control. Feral. Mm hmm. Yeah, she was always a scopaying. It was like she could magically teleport out of locked rooms. Seriously, Astarte? It's, it looks like it would be one of those words that sounds weird to me, but it's from another language, therefore it shouldn't sound normal to me. But I don't know. Thank you for the seconding, I have no idea. Uh, poor kitty, she's probably just really strong and sneaky and smart. Or, I mean, maybe she's a magical cat witch leading a secret cat coven. Who knows? Astarte hisses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you show Katie. You deserve better friends than her anyway. Mm. See ya. Olivia walks away and Astarte watches for a moment before finally standing. <laughs> Astarte, mange, same thing. <laughs> Meowy, mew, meow. Pocket, 
Mew. The street cat wanders away after her pronouncement. You reach out a pet pocket and he accepts your touch. Ainayan. You're not sure what the street cat said, but something has changed. Their weird forked peen eyes are going to go together and I don't want to see it. A pocket protector of the pussy. Uh, you briefly become invulnerable after a finisher. Aren't we all? <sighs> you realize pockets leaning into your hand and a soft purr is starting to rumble. Is that a dildo in your butt? Are you just happy to see me? Pick him up, good kitty. Good kitty. Oh no, I die here now. Pocket purrs loudly, ramming his head into your leg in a surprising display of public affection. <gasps> Shut up, Mayo. Takes one to no one. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh oh. Another kitty, kitty gift? Uh oh. Paintbrushes straight from the horse's butt. Lipstick? Do cats like lipstick? No one else has wanted lipstick. I have no idea who to get that to. A sewing machine, a little industrial revolution, thousands of hours of trash on demand. Uh, a frying pan, not pansexual. Okay, maybe a little. Opera tickets. They're for an Italian opera about doomed lovers. Travel guide, a well written. You know what? Did their owner have an Italian restaurant? I don't know. I could try. I don't think it hurts our relationship. I could try. Absolutely not. Well, it's funny because I think one of my ad libs in the conversation was that she squatted and pooped the, the paintbrushes out of her vajay. Thank you, Glut. Is it really? Jesus Christ, I'm a Christ. Pocket bats at opera tickets with his paw until it, you know what, fuck you. We spend the afternoon together until Pocket gets distracted by a pigeon and runs off. I'll try lipstick next time. I don't know. The last gift it liked was shoes and then a cat toy. OMG. What? What? How do you have my number? Oh my god, look how cute he is. Oh my god, he's super cute though. Have you seen... Po Wait, oh sorry, wrong number. Wow, whoa, whoa. What happened? What's happening? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Have you seen Pocket? He hasn't been here in a few days. I hope he's okay. Me too. <laughs> uh-oh. So, uh-oh. You feel something outside the door. The best way to describe it is a presence. Open the door. Wait, this is the romance music that plays when I fuck someone. I am alarmed. You open the door to find the one-eyed street cat, Astarte, staring at you. She flicks her tail and walks away, looking back to see if you're following. Follow. You follow the cat at a safe distance. She leads you through the streets, her paws making no sound on the concrete. You wonder what the city seems you wonder that the city seems oddly empty for such a beautiful evening. She turns, and you seem to have lost her in an alley's shadows. Where did she go? I know, I'm gonna get fucking mugged. A rumble of thunder shakes the sky, but there are no clouds. Your eyes adjust, and you see green and yellow eyes blink at you from all sides. After a moment, you realize it's not thunder. It's purring. <laughs> <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna get peed on. Hundreds of cats surround you, watching intently, ready to pounce. Oh no. <laughs> as if by one as if by one mind they all rise and flow past you, and you are swept along with them. 
And then the cats ate the body. There was no trace of Katie again. The end. <laughs> and then the cat stops sna start snapping rhythmically. <gasps> All I can think is Cenobite snapping. <laughs> No! <laughs> We're having a bad time, having a bad time. <laughs> We're swept along by the by the kitties, with hopeful not shark centibite faces. You find yourself back at the park at a hole in the hedge you never noticed before. The cats float. Oh my god! It's gonna be Totoro. Totoro, Totoro. No, that's not going to happen. Katie, get out of here. The cats flow into the hole in the hedge. You think you see a Starte's tail flick as she ducks inside, too. The park looks the same, yet somehow larger. Or have you grown smaller? What's happening? Nobody answers. Allow yourself to be penetrated. <laughs> Be penetrated by everything and everyone that is good in this life. <laughs> it seems whatever lies ahead you must do yourself without his help or protection. You hesitate, noticing that your hands have become paws. The bush vagina glows ominously. You step forward, enjoying the cool of the earth against the pads of your paws. They're called toe beans for fuck's sake. You're a pink light, but can I fuck it? <laughs> okay, whatever. But, but, but like, you're a pink light, can I fuck it? I got a forked dick, like, let's go. You step forward, enjoying the cool of the earth against the your toe beans. I can't with this. So this is love. Do 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 do. I've never been so full of fake happiness and warmth. What the fuck? I'm so happy. I don't want it to go bad. What's this fucking Lisa Frank bullshit? You fuck up, I'm gonna touch myself later to the thoughts of Trapper Keepers and you can't stop me! Peace washes over you in this place, smelling of herbs and summer afternoons. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe it's born with it. Maybe it's fucking hell. In the way of dreams, Pocket and Astarte look at you and you understand what's happened. You sense Pocket has been fighting for you, literally clawing to get you accepted here. As a sister cat, what is happening? <coughs> Eventually, Astarte accepts you as part of the extended feline family. In a place beyond fighting. Okay, it's hell. You're right, I was wrong. I did it again. Before you know it, your fur is combed by a comforting tongue. Oh no, they're making me date the cat now. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want the barbed penis in me. Help. You've been inv invited wizard in cat world. Now you get to be owned by a teenager. And you get to sit next to their bed and watch them masturbate and discover their own sexuality. It's going to be really fun. No means no. Don't touch me with your penis. Sulky? After you're hurt, the next attack will do more damage and immobilize. Nine lives. After you're hurt, get a speed boost. I'll stay with the immobilize, I guess. Cat tongues don't sound fun. At least it's not a pig. They got spiral winkies, apparently. I've heard, but I've also heard they have really long orgasms. Which, like, I mean, a minute seems really excessive for an orgasm. Can you imagine 30? Like, I got shit to do. Like, I love a good cum, but like 30 minutes? Damn. 
Um, you look in his eyes and feel deep, abiding, familial love as he grooms you like a sister. Okay, thank fuck. They're not going to fuck me then. Ducks have spiral corkscrew penises that fall off, but other animals might have them too. I have no idea. We had pigs, but I never saw their cocks. Thank fuck. But I'm not a kitty. Groom purr. <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. <clears throat> you luxuriate in the gentle affection, like having your hair brushed. Pocket licks your forehead in affection. I don't know. I don't know if I could get her over with the, I don't know, the licking. It's excessive. You sense, quote unquote, Pocket is not his true name, but that you are beyond names here. Oh, we're in hell. It's happening. He's grateful that you've believed in him, and he's given you his deepest trust. He meows and slowly bites the back of your neck, pinning you to the ground violently before inserting his barbed cock in your asshole. You fall asleep in a long sunbeam, longer than a lifetime of afternoons. You wake up warm and refreshed, but with a heavy weight on your chest. Is it come? After a moment of disorientation, you inspect your beans, their hands again. Fully awake, you see Pocket is asleep on top of you, nuzzled into your neck. Eventually, Pocket gets up and stretches, <coughs> watching you curiously. <laughs> Am I aware, Cat, now? I love you. So every time you see a lake full of ducks, just remember, there's a bunch of dick in it. Arguably, that scum is a good portion cock. Years of it. Mm. No, you're right. We I can't save in this portion. I've literally just been waiting for this cat dialogue to be done. Then we'll be saving. <laughs> but yes is the answer to both of those. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I love you. Pocket pauses, then begins washing his paw. Maybe he's hiding a smile. He's not, he looks comfortable in your apartment. It occurs to you that you've never seen him quite so at ease. After a moment, Pocket jumps with a cheer up. I realized it was a scripted scene, and now I feel dirty. <laughs> uh, and slips through my open window, damn. You watch him pick his way along the rooftops. He looks back at you, tail curled. Wave, slow blink, meow. I don't know what to do. Everything feels wrong. All right, slow blink. Pocket hesitates only a moment, blinking slowly before he slinks away into the cityscape. What is that? Is that cat language? Did I just, I fuck the cat? Did you just, you guys have no cats, help. What did I do? I've never had an indoor cat. What did that mean? What have I done? Or is it just like not aggression? You've reached maximum love rank with pocket pussy, the brass knuckles. Slow. A second round with the kid. Oh, no. Supposedly, that means you trust the cat. Oh, no, shit. It says you loved him. Oh, no, shit. Okay, so it is like a trust thing. I just slow blinked because it was weird as fuck. I mean, to a person. Yeah. Or you just said, call me. <laughs> Why did I know what voice it was in? <laughs> call me. <laughs> um, I think it saves here, right? Yeah. I don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> I date a furry. I have nothing wrong with anthropomorphized animal stuff, but like, uh, I'm not getting into a romance with an animal. It's too much, my dudes. It's too much. 